All right, I think we have just about everything we need for Tyler's party. Streamers, balloons. Oh, and he's gonna love these party ads. All that's left is the food. Oh, he's so excited. He's already dropped hints about his party like six times. Seven times. <laughs> Tyler is feeling more mature. Maybe because of some upcoming date. I think we should let him know that we're planning a party. <laughs> yeah. Chillbot, status update. The taste buds are making foods for a party. Today on Taste Buds, get ready to make some noise. With foods for a party. I'm going to visit an Indian chef who's going to show me how to make some perfect party finger foods. Samosas with the most of. And I'm going to meet a party planner who's going to show me how to make a special event extra special. Taste Buds! And back in the kitchen, we're putting Avery's party skills to the test when we make something no party should be without. Mini party pizzas. Today on Taste Buds. You're invited to Foods for a Party. We love to cook and we love to eat. We are the taste buds. We can't be beat. We're in the kitchen and hanging out to find out what food is all about. Enjoy the fun. We're always turning on the heat. Food to explore. It's always so I'm warning you guys, Tyler's expectations for his birthday are pretty high this year. More than last year? How is that even possible? Oh, hey guys, you surprised me. Tyler, you contacted us. Tyler, we know it's your birthday and we're throwing you a party. A party? For me? Guys, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. But if you look under your chairs, you'll find a small list of requests. Tyler's secret birthday wish list. Number one, no hats. Aww. And two, no forks. This list just keeps going and going. Well, I better update Lily. Don't worry, she already has a list. She should be working on it right now. <sighs> no hats? That's a drag. But no forks is easy, especially for what I'm about to make. Indian-inspired finger foods. My friend, Chef Prina, has lots of great ideas, so she invited me over because she's getting ready for a party, too. Hi, Chef Prina. Hi, Lily. So we're planning a party for our friend Tyler, and I heard you have some great ideas for party foods. I sure do, but first... Stoves are hot. Get a grown-up. All right, so what are we making? Today, Lily, we're going to be making our party filo potato and peas samosas. Cool, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is parboil our potatoes. So parboiling is partially boiling. That's correct. So what we want to do is halfway cook them. So we've got that on the heat right now. They're just boiling. Now onto our samosa filling. What we need to do first things first is add some oil to the pan. We just want to heat that slightly. And then next, we're going to be adding our cumin seeds. And what we want to do is just sort of saute them a little bit until they're a little bit golden brown. Okay. And once we can start smelling those spices, that's when we know that it's ready to add the further ingredients. Wow, what a powerful smell. Oh, it smells fantastic. Next, we're going to be adding peas. So we're using frozen peas. Of course, when in season, we can use fresh. And we just want to coat them with the cumin seeds and the oil that's in the pan. Ooh. Hear that sizzle? Yeah. And at this time, we can also add our curry masala. So I've heard of curry before, but I've never heard the term masala. So masala simply means mixture of spices. Cool. And we can also add some sea salt as well. Nice. Next, Lily, we have to add our parboiled potatoes to our dish. And there we go. Now that I'm adding the potatoes, Lily, what you can do is you can actually just fold the potatoes and coat them with the masala. Now, why is it important to fold it and not just mix it? Remember, they're parboiled. So if we were to vigorously stir it all in, then we're just going to get mushiness. Now that you've coated all the potatoes, we're just going to cook it for a couple minutes with the lid on it. Let it cook and it steam. And then just a few finishing touches, and then we can go ahead to fold our pastry. All right. 
It's time to wrap up the party present. Before we do that, Lily, what we need to do is finish off our samosa filling. So what we can do is just take finely chopped cilantro. We just want to mix it in our cooled mixture. So our mixture has been cooled. And now we can add our garam masala. So I know what masala is now, but what is garam? Garam actually means hot or warming. So this is a warming spice blend. Nice. So what we're doing with that is we're adding our final layer of spicing. Now mix that all together. Great, that looks good. All right. Okay, so now we're going to be filling our party samosas. So we're using the phyllo pastry, and what's really important is to keep it covered at all times because once it gets exposed to the air, it's going to start drying out, and when we go to fold, they're just going to fall apart. And what we've got here is a combination of ghee and oil. And what exactly is ghee? What it is is butter that has all of the milk solids, milk residues removed from it. That's good. That's fantastic. Yeah, and just mix that together. Okay, so we don't want to add too much oil, so we're just going to lightly brush it. Just enough to create the two layers, and that will give us a flakiness. Great, that looks good. Okay, so next comes the second layer. That's like glue. So, Lily, why don't you go ahead and so add like some of the nice mixture. Spoon. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So what we want to do is samosas are triangle shape, so perfect for picking up in a party. So we just fold our samosa, so we've got a triangle now. But we've got this exposed side, so what we want to do is just follow the lines. Then from here, we just fold it down again. Awesome! And then we've got our little flap here. Now sometimes what's helpful is just put a little bit of oil here too, so it sticks together. Just a little dab of it, it's great. And when we bake it, we'll put it the flap side down so it seals up. So Lily, you can put that right on top and just brush it lightly, again with the ghee and the oil mixture. Okay, so now we can continue and finish the rest of the batch off. Cool. Ovens are hot. Get a grown-up. This is a party I'm glad I'm invited to. Less guests means more for me. Hi, Lily. Hi, Jasmine. What's up? My social senses are tingling. I sense you're in a party-type situation. Yeah, in fact, I'm... Hold on. I see finger foods. Maybe some kind of tip? Good guess. I'm at Chef Prina's house. We just made samosas. That's cool, because I'm making Tyler some frozen ice pops. Those look amazing. This is a cranberry orange yogurt pop. Mature, just like the birthday boy wants. See you at the party. See ya, Jasmine. And here they are, Lily. Wow. Those party appetizers smell amazing. What's that dip? This is a tamarind and date chutney. It adds a sweet and sour taste to it, and it's available at most supermarkets. Awesome. Let's dig in. These samosas are fantastic on their own but the chutney dip brings it to a whole different level. Chef Prina, thank you for introducing me to these awesome party foods. No problem, Lily. Anytime you're having a party, just let me know. <laughs> All right. So what are you waiting for? Make your own party samosas. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or go to tastebudscb.com to find all kinds of great party recipes, like ice pops and chicken wings. Status update. Lily is rocking with some awesome party snacks. Tyler, what do you think of the samosas? Are they good enough for your party? Yes! We will be the hostas with the mostas samosas. Mmm, samosas. Hi, Avery. Hey, Penny, what's up? I need your help. I can't decide what party food to bring for Tyler. Mmm, Chubat, get me Tyler. Yes? Tyler, what do you want to eat at your party? Boiled celery mix? Honey mushroom cheese spread. Yuck! Oh, strawberry ketchup smoothies? Ooh, um, actually, Penny, I put you in charge of napkins. Napkins? I can do that. I'll bring boiled celery and eggs, too, because I know you want some. Looking forward to it. See you guys. OK, we want Tyler's party to be the best ever. To help with that, I'm going to go talk to a party planning expert. <laughs> Oh, hi, I'm Avery. Hi, Arlene Stein, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
Wow, you plan parties in this room? We plan a lot of parties in this room. We plan actually almost 700 parties a year in this room. Whoa. So my friend Tyler's having a party. I really want it to be the best. I hear theme parties are popular. Theme parties are great because they give you something to anchor the event around and then you get to develop all the other bits and pieces based on what your theme is. So what's the theme for tonight's party? So tonight's party is an Alice in Wonderland theme based on the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Yeah. And we thought that the space itself lent itself to that kind of um, theme. Totally. So I'm wondering, I mean, food's really, really important to me. Can food make or break an event? Absolutely. Food is one of the key essential items of the entire event. Because if you have a bad meal, you know, you're going to walk away from the experience not having had a great time. So, yeah. yeah, you need good food. So can I help? Absolutely. Come on. Hi, Chef Marco. I'd like to meet Avery. He's going to be working with us today. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hey. <laughs> So what are we making? Well, we've got some scones we're going to make, uh, tea sandwiches, and some pizzas. It's a Alice in Wonderland theme, so we want to make sure it'll all go well with tea. So can I help? For sure. We'll start with the scones. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. See you. Food is really important at a party, so make sure you pick things that are easy to make and that your guests will really like. Better yet, have a cooking party. Invite your friends over to decorate pizzas or cupcakes. Or even roll up fancy sandwiches. That way, you get to cook and eat together. Most fun ever. So what's your name? Jillian. I hear you're the birthday girl. Are you having a good birthday so far? Yeah. What do you guys dress up as? I'm Alice. Alice? I'm Alice. Alice? Alice. And another Alice. <laughs> Three Alices in a row. That's why we wanted to do it. What do you guys dress up as? White queen. White queen. Two white queens. Cool. I'm a white knight. White knight? I'm the executor. The executor? I'm the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat? I knew you were the Cheshire Cat. I was I like, know, this Mad Hatter's Tea Party is a great idea for a thief. The invitations, food, costumes, games, everything is inspired by Alice in Wonderland but you can pick any theme and design your party around it. Like, say, a wizard party. Make your invitation look like a scroll. Entertain your friends with magic tricks and fortune telling. Serve pumpkin juice and pasties. Or try different themes. Pirates, bowling, the 80s, whatever you want. Adding a theme to your party gives your friends something to remember. So how do you guys like the food? Good. Good. It's really good. Yeah? Good. Fantastic. You know I helped make it? You did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no problem. Anytime, you know. Hey, Arlene, I love the costume. Thank you. Party's a hit. Thank you. So tell me, what's the most important thing to remember when you throw a party? Well, you want to make your guests feel special. You want to make them feel like they're, you know, a really a significant part of your event. You want it to be a memory that they can keep and it'll last for you and your guests. Well, thanks, Arlene. Thank you. Bye, everybody! Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, Avery. Whoa, Tyler, are you shaving? No, I just wanted to see what shaving cream felt like. Getting closer to that big day. So, have you decided what you're making yet? I think so. I want it to be a surprise, though. Oh, I can't wait. Tyler, that's shaving cream. No, actually, it's whipped cream. I'm not that mature yet. <laughs> see ya. See you at the party. OK, time for the main event. So, Lily, what do we cook for a guy who's mature but not that mature. Well, I was looking through the cookbook, and I think I found it. Hearty party mini pizzas. A classic meal you can hold in your hand, yet these will have a sophisticated edge. Sounds good. But first... <laughs> All right, we're making three different mini pizzas, so we're going to get things started. First, the dough. We got this whole wheat pizza dough from the supermarket. And we already rolled it out and added the cornmeal. The cornmeal will keep it from sticking to the tray. And it'll make the crust extra crunchy. Totally. So we're going to need some roasted tomatoes and roasted garlic. I know how to make roasted garlic. All you need to do is cut off the tops. Knives are sharp. Get a grown-up. 
I love garlic. <laughs> Put them on some tin foil. Add a bit of olive oil. Olive oil and garlic are made for each other. And season it with a bit of salt and some pepper. Now I just have to wrap it up. And that'll keep it soft inside. And it'll make it super easy to squeeze out later. All right, now for the tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut these in half. Nice. Look at how juicy they are. And then I'm gonna put them facing up on the baking tray. And we added some parchment paper so the tomatoes won't stick to the tray. And make cleanup super easy. Now, drizzle a little olive oil on them. And a little salt. And a little pepper. Can't go wrong with pepper. And a little brown sugar. That'll bring out the sweetness. Right, it'll help it caramelize too. Perfect. And now they're ready for the oven. Then we can get started on the pizzas. All right. Ovens are hot. Get a grown up. To start, we're gonna make mini green peas and ham pizza. Yeah, I learned to make pea sauce before and I thought it'd be good on pizza. It says in the cookbook to sweat the onions. By sweating them, we remove the zing, but keep all the flavor. Stoves are hot. Get a grown up. All in the butter. Butter will give it a rich flavor. Just squish it. Oh, look at it melt. All right, now I'll add the onions. And I'll add some garlic, your favorite. Now we just cook them until they're soft. Is it ready yet? Nope. What about now? Keep stirring. Oh, are the onions ready now? Nope. Look, there's moisture, so it does look like they're sweating. It smells so good, it's making me cry. Maybe it's just the onions. Stay strong, Avery. All right, I'll season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Is it ready now? Okay, I think there's salt. Yes! Time to add the peas. And all of them go in. That is a lot of peas. Oh, yeah. And once they're nice and hot, we just add the milk. And it's time to sauce it up. When it comes to blending, it's up to you how smooth or chunky you want. I like it smooth. First rule to hand blending, when it goes in, it stays in. Yeah, because you don't want hot sauces flying all over the place. Blenders can hurt. Get a grown up. Nice. It looks smooth. All right, let's sauce it up and add the toppings. I'll get the dough. I'll move this to the sink. Okay, first step is to add the sauce. Just scoop it up like that, one for each, and smooth it up. I'll add the mozzarella for some stretchiness. Nice. I'll add some ricotta for the creaminess. Looks kind of like fluffy clouds. Fluffy clouds of cheese. All right. And now some thinly sliced smoked ham. Tear it up. Awesome. And last but not least, brush on some olive oil. That'll make the crust nice and crispy. All right, these look amazing. One pizza down, two to go. Next up, sizzling spicy sausage mini pizzas. And the roasted tomatoes and garlic are cooled down. So now let's dress those spicy sausage pizzas. Now for the fun part. You just squeeze the garlic out. Nice. That's good garlic. All right, and then just mash it into a paste and spread on the dough. While you do that, I'll cut up some jalapeno peppers. Chili peppers can burn. Get a grown-up. Are you leaving the seeds in those? Yep. The cookbook says, the more seeds, the spicier. We want spicy. You can really smell it. All right. We're using aged cheddar for a flavor kick, but you can also use medium or mild or whatever you want. It's up to you. <laughs> it's raining cheese. And next, sausage. These are fresh sausages. I already cut the casings off and squeezed the meat out. There's pepper seeds in that too, so it'll make it extra spicy. Now I'll just add the jalapeno peppers and then brush on some olive oil. Some olive oil to the crust. All right, we're done with these. You should probably wash your hands. Yeah, definitely wash your hands after using chili peppers. 
And now for our final pizzas, tomato mozzarella mayhem. It says in the cookbook to cut off the tomatoes and put them on the dough. Wait, no sauce? Nope, the juices from the tomato will really flavor the dough. Ooh. They're really slippery. Oh yeah, it's all the juices. Nice. Next up, buffalo mozzarella. Made with real buffalo? Very funny. It's made from buffalo milk. The difference between this and regular mozzarella is that it's softer and it comes in water to keep it fresh. You can just tear it up and put it on the pizza. Ooh, it's fun to do. It's nice and gooey too. And if you don't have buffalo mozzarella, you can use regular mozzarella too. Okay, and now we just add a little bit of pepper. Really give it a kick. And then brush it with some olive oil. And it's ready for the oven. Can't wait to see the look on Tyler's face when he sees these pizzas. Tyler's gonna love the soccer theme you chose for his party. And <laughs> these pizzas look amazing. We should maybe try them to make sure that they're party worthy. It's what Tyler would want. Sweetness of the pea sauce from this pizza mixing together with the smoky ham is just amazing. And that garlic sauce was a great idea. I think the spicy sausage pizza is my new favorite. Don't speak until you try the tomato and mozzarella pizza. So good, especially the fresh basil. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Kyle. Busted. You guys made me pizza? Well, we're just seeing if it was good enough for the birthday boy. They look it. I'm all over that green one. I am so excited for the party. What are you waiting for? Come on over. So what are you waiting for? Make your own delicious party pizzas. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or go to TasteBudsTV.com, where you'll find tons of great party recipes. Status update. The Taste Buds are... At the best pizza party ever. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Tyler. Tyler. Food, friends, fun. Doesn't get any better than this. Maybe it's just the pizza talking, but I love you guys. Yeah.